Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will show you what the new features are that are added in Copilot Studio of late and in 2025. Like Copilot is no more Copilot. It is an agent now. Authoring Canvas. Copilot supports voice and speech input, language understanding options, automatic knowledge source suggestions, improvement in SharePoint knowledge source, enable and disable chat mode speech and DTMF or text, expanded knowledge source integration, custom prompt designer with AI assistance, multi-language support expansion. I'll show you these one by one in this demo. So let's get started. This is the home page of Copilot Studio. You can see that there is no more Copilot. Now it is agent. I can see the list of agents I have created so far. To create a new agent, you need to click on this create button. Then you can see the out of the box agent templates. Then, you can create a new agent based on your requirement. Now, I will open any of my existing agents or co-pilots. Let's open this co-pilot. Then, we'll go to the settings of this co-pilot. This is the Agent Details page. Then, we can see a new section called as Authoring Canvas. It enables optimized canvas for topics with a high number of nodes, improving performance and usability. By default, this is an enabled mode. However, you can disable it as well. Then, we can see the new feature called Voice. You can optimize for voice. Make sure your agent works for you. With voice-first features like advanced speech recognition and dual-tone multi-frequency DTMF input, you can enable or disable this optimize for voice setting. Once you enable the optimize for voice setting, you can see lots of voice optimization-related configuration. Like we have customized automatic speech recognition configurations. We have timeouts configurations. We have speech sensitivity configurations. Then let's move on to the other new features. We got languages configurations. Here, we can see my primary language configured for this agent as United States English. Then you can configure the secondary languages for your agent. You can see the list of global languages. From here, you can add your agent's secondary languages. The best part of this feature is you can choose multiple secondary languages for your copilot. Then we have language understanding, configuration, options for language understanding. You can use CLU or NLU as a service in place of the native Microsoft Copilot Studio NLU. You can either select Microsoft Copilot Studio NLU or Microsoft CLU. You can select any of these two. The default configuration is Microsoft Copilot Studio NLU. In component collections, I have nothing to show. It is empty. From the advanced section, you can configure the application insights and metadata. I'm just showing what the new options are that we have in Copilot now. I'm not configuring them. Okay, now let's go to this knowledge section where we can see the automated suggestion about the knowledge and along with the analytics report. Here, we can see how to add knowledge sources, how to improve answer rate, and how to track knowledge use. Now, let's see what's new in knowledge sources. We have, as usual, knowledge sources like public websites, SharePoint, and Dataverse. 
Now, I will show you what changes are in SharePoint Knowledge Sources. In SharePoint Knowledge Sources, now we can configure only the focus document libraries and folders instead of passing the site URL, which brings data from the entire site. With this approach, we can create a focused copilot for your documents. Let's see how this works. Click on the Browse Files link. I will show you here how you can add specific document libraries, folders, and files. As we see from here, we can select the folders and files we need for my agent. I am selecting a sample folder. I have added my sample folder from SharePoint. You can see the file link path. This is my folder name. Click on the Add button. My selected SharePoint folder as a knowledge source is being added. It is being added. Yes, it got added. Now, you can test your agent with your selected files and folders. Now, let's see the other changes while you test your agent. Click on the test setting. From here, you can save snapshot, test trigger, manage connections, flag an issue, chat mode text or speech, control of track between topics, control of debug mode. You can turn on or off the track between topics toggle. You can set your chat mode as speech or text. You can see the navigation, how it can be done. Then we have manage connections menu. Let's open this link. From here we can manage if you have any Power Automate or any other third-party connections. I can see the message. You don't have permission to manage connections of the Copilot. However, you can manage your connections from here. So, basically, if you have connections to your agent and you have access to them, you can manage your connections from here. That's all for today. I hope you liked and enjoyed this demo and learned something new today. If this helped you, please consider subscribing to my channel. In the upcoming days, I'll come up with many trending videos on Microsoft's latest technologies like Microsoft Copilot, Gen AI, Power Platform, Power Apps, Power Automate, Power Pages, SharePoint Online, artificial intelligence, and many more. Kindly be with me and help me to grow on this journey. Thank you.